plays for Southwestern, Southwestern Volleyball. They're in the state finals this week, this weekend, my niece Bella. Um, so my high school, my alma mater and my niece are on this, this team. So I'm so, yeah, the Tro go Trojans. So supporting her, yeah. So she's pretty good too. Huh? Who are they playing? I don't know. I don't know. I should know more. Uh, I, I got my own scouting reports to be be worried about. I'll just I'll just follow the game on Saturday. Yeah, you. you it, no matter what game you're playing, you always are going to go back and look at the film of the last time you played that that coach. And in, in many cases, you, you're going to go back and, and look at maybe the last couple times that you played them. Um, and so that. Uh, was obviously the last game of last year and there's a lot of things that we study that we're not just studying the first eight games we're studying two, multiple years worth of things so uh, obviously that tape has been uh, helpful you know to be able to look at it and we sure we, we understand that it's probably helpful for them to look at that as well um, and then also just it's just part of our preparation so we've we've used that we've used the tape we've used the the preparation going into it you know so there's there's things that I've been watching this week and I'm like man it feels like I just watched this stuff not too long ago it's because I because I did so there was some deja vu there but um, you know obviously we, we use everything to our um, that that can help us prepare for a game and obviously that um, the preparation that we did going into it and then also that game can help us a lot you know any week you can turn any week in the NFL into I'm gonna get up for this one right here like it, your our job is to make sure it's it's mentally challenging and you have to be mentally tough to get up for the every game the same every single every single week and uh we try to pride ourselves on being mentally tough and i know and and i i hear jordan i hear what he says said on um as far as that's personal and and you know what the, the important thing is if you you look for any ways to to find motivation but you all but it is important that each and every week you're locked in and have that mental toughness to go to work the same, you know, whether you're playing team A or the team that beat you in the Super Bowl last year, you, you gotta have that mental toughness to go about your business that way. But if the motivation for, uh, for Jordan um, is helping him and he's not distracted by it, by all means use it. If, it. if the motivation is distracting to you, then don't use it. So, and, I, and so for some guys it's gonna be, uh, we're gonna treat every week the same and, and get ready just the same, just like I said last week going into the Cowboys game. Um, but if you, if you can use that for extra motivation, then go ahead. If, if it's distraction, you know, then leave it aside. You know, the normal bye week, um, you got your self-evaluation. Um, um, getting, getting yourself and your body uh, physically ready uh, for the second half of the year. So that, that's always my approach on the bye week. And I feel like personally it was a, it's a good week. And um, a lot of guys took advantage of that personally for themselves. They're a really good team. You know, they're a really good team. You know, it's a team like that um, doesn't have the success they have uh, out of any light. You know, they, they have great players uh, on the D-line. They have great players on the back end. They make plays on the ball and they're, they're very disruptive. Um, obviously coach really well. Um, so, you know, all three phases, we have to be ready to execute and, and play our best versus a really good team. Are there things you can take um, from looking at the video from the Super Bowl or do you just kind of focus on what they're doing this year? Look at both. There's always opportunity to learn from sure. Anytime you play someone, um, you know, I've had the opportunity to, we've played these guys twice um, in the last two years. This will be the third year in a row where we've played them um, some way, somehow. Um, and they always, you know, put up a good challenge on tape. I mean, they're, they fly to the ball. Um, they have a great D-line. They're, they're secondary. It's, it's, they, have, they have a great secondary. They're playing at a very high level. Um, and their linebackers, regardless of who's in there, they, they fly to the ball. So um, it's just a big challenge for us. Who's going first? I'll go. What's it, uh, what's it been like as you guys prepare for this game, watching tape of the Super Bowl? Is it, is it tough to just watch it for what it is? Uh, we, we've seen it a lot at this point. You know, I think it's whenever you watch it, there's plays that you want back and things that were there that weren't capitalized on, which is frustrating. But all in all, you know, it didn't, didn't work out. No, no sense on, uh, you know, Dreading on it or looking back at it any other way, you know, we had an opportunity to win the game and just didn't get it done. Um, we're more just focused on this one. You know, they're a much different team right now. Um, defense is playing 
unbelievable football. Their offense always does with the playmakers that they have, the quarterback they have, and Pat Mahomes and Andy Reid. But I think the, the, the thing that really stands out that's drastically different is their defense is playing really, really good football right now. They play well as a unit, they have great players. Spagnola played against him a lot, and he's doing some really, really good things right now for them. So we're, we're, we're very much trying to prepare for, for this game. As a, as a good motivation, if it's not, just leave it behind. I prefer not to even, to even use it. Nope. So how long? It's not, a, it's not the same game. I mean, I'm motivated to win the game. I don't need the Super Bowl to motivate me to beat my brother um, or Andy Reid. And, you know, I've never beat them in my career. I'm more motivated maybe by that. But, um, you know, I, I don't buy into Super Bowl revenge games or, you know, each season is different. Um, this team is not the same. That team is not the same. Nothing that goes out there and happens on Monday night is going to at all change or make anything different about what happened last year. The used to be you, you blitz, it's like a, you know, live by the sword, die by the sword. You know, you're exposed for a big play. And I think now more than ever, teams have done a good job of blitzing or making you hot, but keeping things in front of you and not giving up an explosive. And I think that um, these guys do a great job of, of, of doing that. You know, and I think um, they, they make the skies, they make everything look the same. Um, you really have to have to be on your A-game. Jason, what's, what's it been like kind of dealing with the celebrity and obviously, you know, with, you know, you being the sexiest man and, <laughs> and uh, yeah. your brother dating Taylor Swift and yeah. um, and you know, everything. How, how, what's that been like for you and your family? Um, you know, I don't know. I think it's, it's, um, it's been a whirlwind. It's been, uh, you know, we've kind of started last year with the podcast and everything and, it's continually built up more and more from the Super Bowl and, um, you know, uh, my brother's love life and um, People Magazine, shout out to People Magazine. Um, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's continued to, to, to get more and more and it's, um, you just kind of take it one day at a time. You know, I think you try and stay grounded with it. You try and be realistic about it and, you know, and you just try and keep being the same person you are. Um, harder to go out. You know, went to the airport. You know, that's difficult, more difficult now than it used to be. But um, you know, outside of that, I think you know you just try and you know keep doing what you've been doing. Obviously, something's working. Would you be happy if you never beat your brother? Um, I beat him enough in his life that I think I'll still be happy. I've, I've got a lot of them. It would be nice to get a wind under the Eagles belt. You know, there's two teams, not just him. Um, you know, we haven't beat the Seahawks either. We play them later in the, the season. So um, those are two teams that I've never been fortunate enough to get a victory against. But um, again, you know, I, as with every week, you know, even though there's a lot of familiar, familiarity, there's a lot of personal you know, attachment to this game on my side. I think you, you really focus on, you know, what do we need to do? You know, I, I think if you look at that outside noise, you're, you're really doing yourself and your teammates a disservice. So, um, you know, the, the same things that allow us to be successful every week are, are gonna come down to this game, you know, taking care of the football, um, you know, being smart, you know, executing in the red zone, things that we've improved on throughout the season. If we can continue to do those well this week, Offensively, and the defense focuses on the things they need to do. I think, you know, regardless of who we're playing, we'll be in a good position.